I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. If you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. So I applaud you for your dreaming, for your running towards your dream. I applaud you for believing in yourself because that's what life is about, stretching and challenging, looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary, it's necessary that you go for what is yours in the universe. Logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, like living your dream and taking charge of your destiny, you've got to be an unreasonable person. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is. Your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much. That's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. If it's hard, why do people do it? Why do they go? People who climb mountains. Why would a Nelson Mandela give up 26 years of his life? Why do people do that? Even though it's hard, it's worth it. It's worth it. The people who go after their stuff, what makes it worth it? It's got to be your passion. You got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Let me share something with you. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us.